Police say Marshawn Carter's girlfriend brought a dangerous situation to an end. She sprinted across Reisterstown Road near Gwynswalls Parkway in northwest Baltimore Friday and pulled him out of a car. She put herself in the middle of harm's way. Um, he was actively shooting. Police released body camera and helicopter surveillance video showing what happened from start to finish. How 30-year-old Marshawn Carter pulled away from a police stop, drove at high speeds through West Baltimore, shooting at random people while police officers chased him. Police say he should not have had the handgun and assault rifle found in his 2005 Lexus. We don't believe that uh, this man it was in legal possession, obviously, of either one. Uh, so so we're, we're backtracking to, to see what we can learn about those, those two firearms. Carter is accused of two murders, multiple attempted murders, assaults, and weapons violations. His brother telling WEAA Radio Carter was diagnosed with a mental disorder. He's being painted as a criminal, as a murderer, and all this stuff because this is a result of his mental illness. And this is not who my baby brother is. According to court charging documents, Marshawn Carter is charged in shootings dating back to December 8th. In that first incident, he claimed the victims in a minivan cut him off. They cut me off, and you know how it is. I did not know what to expect, he said. Carter is also accused of the December 14th murder of Martrell Harris. According to the court document, Mr. Carter acknowledged the shooting of Martrell Harris and explained that Martrell was a drug dealer who hustled near his home and had disrespected him and his girlfriend. He is also accused of the December 14th shooting on Poplar Grove Street that killed one man and wounded another man and a 16-year-old. Then on December 15th, during the chase, he's accused of firing a handgun and assault rifle at random people. Several were hit, including a man sitting in his friend's car at Wabash and Rogers Avenues. We don't have a motive um, for what he was doing. Now, the court charging documents also indicate that Carter has admitted to the shootings. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.